Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, state design pattern implementation. Uh, before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch uh, state design pattern introduction, state design pattern real time example, and uh, state design pattern class diagram video tutorials. Then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly. Okay. Uh, now we will see the scenario where we can use uh, state design pattern. Uh, suppose say I want to develop a uh, web application project. Uh, so the initially the internal state of the project will be the uh, requirement uh, engineering. So in the requirement engineering phase, what we can do is we can gather requirements from the client, but we can't do testing or uh, development or support. Okay. Uh, so once the requirement uh, uh, gathering is uh, done, uh, then the state of the project will be moved to uh, design and architecture phase. So in the design and architecture uh, phase, what we can do is uh, uh, we can uh, uh, design the project, uh, meaning we can do a class diagram, sequence diagram, and we can decide what kind of uh, technology we are planning to use in order to develop the application. So that kind of uh, work we can do it in the design and the architecture uh, phase. Okay. So once this state is uh, finished, then it will be moved to uh, development state. Okay. So now uh, the publication project state is uh, development uh, phase. Okay. So in development phase, what we can do is we can do coding, we can do unit testing. So all those work we can do, but we can't do support or maintenance or requirement gathering in this uh, state. Okay. So once uh, development work is uh, finished, then the internal state will be moved to testing uh, state. So now uh, project uh, state is uh, testing state. So in uh, testing state, what we can do is we can uh, do the manual testing or automation testing. So all those uh, testing uh, we can do and we can make sure uh, the project uh, is okay and doesn't have any bugs. Okay. So once uh, testing phase is uh, over, uh, then the state will be moved to maintenance uh, state. So in maintenance state, what we can do is we can maintain the project. So once uh, maintenance state is uh, finished, uh, then the internal state of the project will be moved to support uh, phase. Okay. Uh, so once uh, support phase is uh, over, uh, we can uh, again do the requirement gathering for the next set of uh, work, uh, maybe enhancement of the project. Okay. So this is how. Uh, uh, the state is moved from uh, one state to another state uh, of the uh, particular web application project. So this is a very good example of uh, state design pattern. Okay. Uh, this is the class diagram of the scenario which we have uh, just discussed. Uh, in center you can see project state which is an interface. It has uh, four abstract methods. Uh, the first method is uh, do requirement gathering. The second one is uh, do design and architecture. The third one is uh, do development and the fourth one is uh, do testing. Uh, basically project has uh, various uh, states. I have taken uh, four states to explain this uh, pattern. Uh, the first one is uh, requirement gathering state. The second one is uh, design and architecture state. And uh, third one is uh, development state. And fourth one is uh, testing state. So all these uh, states are uh, concrete uh, classes and uh, it implements uh, project state and uh, provide implementation of uh, do requirement gathering, do design and architecture, do development and uh, do testing. Okay. And uh, down you can see a project class uh, which is a concrete class. The project will maintain the internal uh, project states. Okay. And it has a getter and setter method for uh, project states and it also provide implementation of uh, do requirement gathering, uh, do design and architecture, uh, do development and uh, do testing. So this project implements a project state. So it provides implementation of uh, this four methods. Okay. And uh, this project will uh, uh, move to one state or another state uh, once it finishes uh, uh, one state. Okay. So uh, suppose say uh, project state is uh, in requirement gathering state initially. Once uh, requirement gathering is finished, then uh, project internal state will be moved to design and architecture state. Uh, once uh, design and architecture state is uh, finished, then uh, project state will be moved to development state. And uh, once uh, development state is uh, finished, then uh, project 
that uh, internal state will be moved to testing state okay so this is how uh, the state movement happens and uh, in particular state you can uh, perform uh, some operation and you can't perform some operation uh, so for example if a uh, project in a requirement gathering state uh, we can perform a requirement gathering from the client but we can't uh, do the uh, development work or uh, testing work right so like that if a uh, project is in a testing state we can't do requirement gathering so based on the internal state the behavior of the project uh, will be uh, different and uh, here you can see the client which has a main method which is used to explain this uh, design pattern i will open eclipse and i will show you the code so that you will understand this one very clearly uh, i have opened eclipse uh, now we will see the code uh, here you can see the interface uh, project state it has uh, uh, four abstract methods uh, the first one is uh, do requirement gathering the second one is uh, do design and architecture third one is uh, do development and the fourth one is uh, do testing and basically project has various states like uh, requirement gathering state design and architecture state development state and testing state so this uh, states are uh, concrete classes uh, which implements uh, project states okay so here you can see a requirement gathering state which implement uh, project state and provide implementation of uh, do requirement gathering do design and architecture do development and uh, do testing so in requirement gathering state you can uh, uh, collect the requirement from the client but uh, you can't uh, uh, work on design and architecture and uh, development and uh, you can't test right so i have uh, just put system.out.pindalan like uh, cannot do design and architecture because project is in uh, requirement gathering phase right so only operation i can do is uh, requirement gathering right uh, so like that uh, design and architecture state which also implements uh, project state so in uh, design and architecture phase uh, you can uh, do only uh, design and architecture and also you can do uh, requirement gathering but only clarification of requirement we can ask to the client not full fledged uh, requirement gathering in the design and architecture uh, phase right and uh, development work you can't do and uh, testing work you can't do so i am uh, just putting uh, cannot do development because project is in uh, design and architecture phase cannot do testing because project is in uh, design and architecture phase and uh, next one is uh, development state uh, which implements uh, project state and uh, in development state you can uh, do the coding right uh, but you can't do the testing right and you can't perform uh, requirement gathering also uh, and clarification of uh, design and architecture you can do and uh, next one is uh, testing uh, state and uh, it implements uh, project state so in uh, testing state uh, uh, you can do the testing but you can't perform uh, requirement gathering or uh, design and architecture but you can perform uh, bug fixes in uh, development okay and uh, next class is project uh, which is the uh, uh, important class and it implements uh, project state and uh, it maintain uh, internal uh, uh, project state okay and uh, it also provides implementation of uh, do requirement gathering uh, do design and architecture uh, do development and uh, do testing okay uh, so it has getter and setter method for uh, project state okay so do requirement gathering what it will do is uh, uh, it will use uh, project state uh, and call the uh, do requirement gathering method the project state can be a requirement gathering state or design and architecture state or development state or testing state if a project state is a requirement gathering state uh, then once a requirement gathering is done then project state will be moved to a design and architecture state so that is what i am doing here okay so like that uh, uh, do design and architecture so once uh, design and architecture is finished uh, the project uh, internal state will be moved to development state so like that uh, once uh, development is uh, finished uh, the project internal uh, state will be moved to testing state okay so that is uh, done here 
so you can see uh, the project state is moved from one state to another state if uh, uh, one of the state is uh, finished okay and uh, based on the project internal state the project behavior will be uh, different and uh, next one is uh, client class it has main method uh, so initially uh, project will be in uh, requirement uh, phase so I am creating a project uh, object so I am um, just printing what is the current state so it will print the current state is uh, requirement gathering state because initial uh, project state I have set as uh, requirement uh, gathering state so I am trying to perform uh, various uh, functionality in uh, requirement gathering state like uh, do design and architecture, do development, uh, do testing, uh, do requirement gathering we will see the output so that you will understand how the state of the project is changed from one state to another state and what are the functionalities are executed I am running this code so here you can see project internal state is requirement gathering state so in uh, requirement gathering state uh, we can't do uh, design and architecture and we can't perform uh, development and we can't do testing and we can do requirement gathering so requirement gathering has been started has been uh, finished by seven days so once requirement gathering is uh, done uh, the internal state will be moved to design and architecture state uh, then uh, design and architecture you can do in the uh, design and architecture state so design and architecture has been started has been uh, finished by 10 days so once uh, design and architecture is done uh, the project internal state will be moved to development state and uh, in development state you can't perform uh, testing and you can do uh, development so development has been started development has been finished by 40 days so once the uh, development is over uh, the internal state will be moved to testing state so if uh, project is in uh, testing state you can't do requirement gathering so that is what it is printed here okay so so this is a very good example of uh, state design pattern uh, I hope uh, you understand uh, state design pattern implementation very clearly and uh, I have put together all this uh, sample code in my blog called uh, ROMJTE so you can just visit this uh, site and uh, get this uh, sample codes and uh, this is about uh, state design pattern implementation and thanks for watching. Bye.